Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Age of Empires 4. In the last episode we did the Siege of Bayo and we fought outside the walls of Tinchabray Castle and uh, defeated the rebellion that was happening there. Um, both quite interesting battles, both introduced new elements to the game um, with longbowmen, castle sieges and I think knights as well. So we had a lot to play with in the last few episodes and now we're moving in to the 1119 Bramula campaign mission which should be I imagine slightly harder um, but yeah let's jump straight into it not really going to talk about it too much because I'm not sure what we are up against the theme of the actual mission is possession whereas I think it's been conquest conquest possession 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 has been the last few and it says two heavyweight kings fought face to face to decide the fate of Normandy so I have a feeling it's going to be a fairly big one. Cool. A nice short video there. Not too much to explain. Um, so we're going to be fighting the French for the first time. Well, kind of. We're going to be defending at Normandy against the French. Um, so that makes me think this might be this might be a defend mission until reinforcements arrive, which should be interesting. So I don't really think we've done that yet, or at least not properly. So it should be an interesting mission. Uh, I'm sure we'll have a lot more to play around with and let's just jump into it, see how it goes. There we go. Jump straight into the mission. In the disputed countryside I'm going to go with, yeah. France, a smouldering farmstead gave away the beginnings of a French invasion. Quite a lot of bowmen. A lot of cavalry. Army stood King Louis of France himself. We've got a little scout here on the Lone Hill. Love it. Okay, so we're abandoning towns and defending one main one. Yes, that's what it's looking like. Um, so what have we got access to? Or are they going to be here very quickly? Yeah, they're already on their way. Okay. Okay, so we know that they've got a lot of cavalry. We've got another village here. What have we got access to? Not a whole lot. Right, let's start moving all of our villagers to Fleury. Right? That's where we're defending, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we need to retreat everyone to Fleury. So anyone who's working, let's get them back here. What have we got soldier-wise? We've got a few swordsmen. Let's just send some cavalry out just to make sure our villagers don't get chased down. And then let's start getting some stone together because we have none and I want to upgrade these. Yes, I can upgrade them. Okay. Um, so yeah, we want pikemen, which are 60 food, 20 wood. So we need when those villagers get here, we need to get them on wood production as quickly as possible. As the village of Crescentville fell, all English hopes lay in holding Fleury for the king's arrival. Okie dokie. You boys need to get back here as quick as you can. Right, you three... Uh, do that tower. We've got here we've got three horsemen, one scout. You bugger off, I don't need you. Or go and explore, I don't know. See if there's any money somewhere. Right, they have arrived. They're fighting one of our towers currently. But yeah, that's kind of what I was expecting. Keep running, boys. Help is on the way. Cavalry should deal with them. Discovering resources. Just want to see if there is any like chests or anything that we can grab any extra resources that we might be able to get our hands on. Right, they've already arrived. Let's get them on wood. We don't have a labour camp, do we? No. Right, yep. 
get in here now, boys. Oh crap, I didn't even see that they've already taken... They've already taken Greenfield. Oh, okay, so they're really not far away. Oh, we are not prepared. Uh, um, bollocks. Right, let's upgrade one of these towers. We need more troops. We need loads more troops. We do not have enough men for this. I've got six of you. Arsenal. Could build a stone. Well, oh, no, we don't have time. Or do we? Can't build it anyway. Oh, yes, we can. Can we? Yes, we can. Go build a stone wall there, boys. Quick as you can. That will buy us some time. If we can get it up. If we have time. Um, barracks, get over here. We might have time to get that up, you know. It won't protect us. But it will give us more time. If we get another tower up to you. Cool. How many archers have we got? We've just got three archers. So we can get them behind that wall and they can do a little bit of damage. Not massive amounts. And then we just need more food. Yep, here they are. They're already here. As soon as that, uh, that wall starts to break, we'll bring them back in. Want to hold defensively. Oh, they're... Okay, they're buggering off. Hold there. Everybody hold there. Right, you guys go and get food. Like crazy. If we can get 300 stone, we can get spring walled. Which will do a lot more damage. Oh, they can't break through stone. Of course they can't. So we've literally blocked them out. They'll need siege equipment, so they can't even get through. Oh, excellent. I don't think that's how... Oh, my God. Okay, wait. They are attacking. Yep, yeah, they built a siege engine, and they're killing my archers off. Let's get them out of there. I want that spring wall. We need the bloody car stage. We can't build it. I won't be able to get there quick enough. Well, they are breaking the wall, but we are also killing them. This is good, and it's buying us time, so we can get... Let's get an upgrade for our spearmen. Let's get a couple of archers down there as well, if we can. Shoot the knights, not... Not the thingy, the battering ram. Shoot the knights. Shoot the cavalry. Kill the cavalry. Can upgrade. We're getting lots more food in now. Could get some. Uh, wait, no, they had archers, didn't they? They've only got a couple there. Guys, seriously, kill the knights. They're more important. Just kill the bloody knights. Yeah, there you go. Stand your ground. Or be like that idiot. Alright, just go, just go, just push through. We need time, we need time. We've got an upgrade for some of our troops. Get in that tower. Get in the tower. Defend yourselves. We're doing okay on numbers. And we've got reinforcements, okay. Get your forces to the bloody wall now, go. Okay, they're running, they're running. Thank God for that. Henry saw his chance to put England's claim to Normandy beyond doubt. Um, well, we definitely don't have enough men to take that back yet. I mean, look at the size of that army. We're going to need a few thousand cavalry. Uh, cavalry? We're going to need a few thousand spearmen for that. Jesus. That's a lot of horsemen. 
we need to take both of them first, so we'll probably can probably take Grainville back, I imagine, with the force that we currently have. And that again buys us a bit of time. We've got some of these guys. Let's get them up there too. Send everybody in. Uh, we shouldn't have to worry so much about defensive structures anymore. We just need money and food and wood for troops. So get on food, guys. We'll just have two people mining that. Let's get a couple more villages. We also need to build some more houses too. Okay, once those uh, pikemen have reached the main army, we're going to send everybody out. That is them, isn't it? Yep, okay, cool. Right, everybody, let's move into Grainville and take it. That's just a scout. Um, let's also start building a mill. Because we're nearly out of sheep. Once, as soon as I've built a few more houses, then I'll start... Um, recruiting more troops. Um, no, if you start building the first farm, we're going to need a lot of them. If you just build every farm you can around there, we're being attacked. Should have said attacking move, we'll do that now. They've got some little military tents set up. <laughs> That's quite cool. Right, there we go. Killed them all off. I don't know what that is. I'm not sure what that is. Um, yep, keep attacking move into Grainville. I'm sure they've got a decent sized force there, but we should have enough to take it down. I hope. Get on that. Scout there. Determined to oust the English from Normandy began sending attack parties to harass King Henry and his forces. Push the French out of Grainville. Wait, that doesn't mean they're going to start coming here, is it? Well, we have got defences up, so it doesn't matter if they do. As long as it's not a huge force. Keeping on our workers. Okay, we're going to have to reinforce this army, I think. Doesn't look like we've really lost anyone, but... We have managed to recapture it, though. Whoa. King Henry's men struck at the French forces and recaptured the town. Go grab all that gold, boys. God damn it. Let me grab that bit. Right, and then move up forward. And let's see if we can get some more troops. We want a couple more horsemen. Definitely want more pikemen. A lot of pikemen. And we're out of wood. So let's work on building up our wood stores. Double broad axe. They're now out of work. So we're going to send a whole bunch of them to go get wood. Send one, two to go get food. Food? Gold? That's what men say. And then that fills the farms. Cool. I don't know where you guys came from, but you can be somewhat useful. Start building some. How's this? King Louis is counter-attacking. Okay, so he's sending a decent sized portion of his force here. Archers and pikemen. Now uh, we can get some arrow slits in that. It's just a scout. Not too much of a worry. Buy resources there. If you guys can get me a couple of houses built up, I'd appreciate it. Forces are engaging there, cool. We can get an upgrade for our archers too. Have them strike a little bit harder. Where's the king? Give our men a defense boost. Horseman, go and kill that prick. Uh, on second thoughts. Maybe not. That's quite a large force. That's a lot of archers. Please attack move forward now. Arsenal. 
No, what we want is that, but we can't build it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What do we want? Probably another outpost. Get in there, man. Get in the fight. Don't worry about that. It's not that important. Send him on it. If they take down... It's just a tower. It doesn't matter if it goes down. We want our units. Okay. We have defeated them there, but we have lost a lot of men. We need to replace them. I keep sending scouts too, which isn't good. Right, if you just go and kill that guy for me. You guys have built that. Let's get that upgraded. Um, and then I guess, what do we need more of? Wood. Go get wood. Let's go. We don't really need more archers. We're okay on archers. Definitely need more cavalry. That tower's going to break any second now. Not too worried about that. Let's just get a crap load of cavalry and then we'll go for just spearmen once they're all done. He should he should be fine. Um, let's increase food gathering. Can't improve that. I could progress to the castle age, but I think I'll probably leave it. We need to capture the next town because then we can recapture the monastery and get a priest up and he can start healing our forces so a lot of them are quite injured right they're now getting a lot more wood he's killing horsemen got seven people working on food and we have 12 people working on wood no 13 and yet it's producing the same amount crazy right let's get you back here uh, cavalry move to there you go to there Produce as many hardened spearmen as we can, and once these uh, two queues are finished, we'll start moving to the next position. We could purchase another upgrade for our troops, which might be worth it. Let's do it. And I think we also have a building down here somewhere for our melee troops. It's bloody scouts. Go kill him. See if, there's any, see if there is any way to get around there, and if there is anything hidden away that we might need. Good man. A um, couple horses, a couple pikemen. As far as I know, it's only going to be the one assault, and then I assume when we take the next place, it'll be the next wave. I mean, that's a lot of knights. That is a lot of knights. That's not going to be fun. What we need is the next upgrade, but we need a castle age. Let's have a look at that, shall we? 1,200 food. It, it can be done. We could get that done. Um, increases, yep. And their movement speed. Let's do that. Let's give them an upgrade. If we empty all of these buildings out, get all of these archers up to the front. I don't know where they're getting all these scouts from. Let's have a look how many men we're missing. So that's now done its queue. Right, as soon as those archers get here, we'll move. Scout, if we send the scout in first, whilst we're producing those troops and went on the archers, we can see what kind of force they have. So we haven't lost that much, but I don't want to lose my whole force. How many? We've got 31. 31 spearmen. A lot of them are fairly injured. So, I don't know. Going to have to be careful one way or another. We are getting these upgrades though, which is good. Fine leather work. So, yeah, they're going to get there first anyway. 800 food. So, we could get started on that pretty soon. Right, if we just start moving, I don't want to wait around all day. Those archers can catch up pretty quick, I imagine. So if we do an attacking move to this first little Y section. And see if they've set up another camp. Should 
Shit, it doesn't look like they have. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yep, get up there. Every man counts. Same with you lot. Yep, I don't care. So they've produced a stable down here. Could be where the scouts are coming from. It's not affecting me that much, so I don't know if it's worth taking out. Could send those, them to do it, but again, I don't think there's much point. I think they're just building scouts from here and then sending them to attack these little buildings. But we don't really need them. Right, they've got a tower. And not an enormous sized force to be honest, so yeah, we can probably take that quite easy. Let's go for it. Attack them there. And we've got enough food, so let's start building. The white tower acts as a keep, acts as town centre, doesn't matter. We don't really need either of these things right now. We could use the tower at the front line, but let's just get that built so we can get some upgrades before we attack his army. I really need you guys up there. Come on, let's go. The king can break off and get there first. He can apply the bonus. Let's do that. Numbers are holding pretty stable. Not doing too bad, I think. I think we've only lost a couple of men so far. Right, yep, yeah, we take down that tower. Scout's fighting a scout. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Just kill the tower. You boys kill those archers. Cavalry, go and destroy that thing for me. And there we go. Retaking Crescentville, which should mean another assault is imminent. Saving the game. I'm going to go with yes. Claim to Normandy faced only one more obstacle. King Louis and his army. Yeah, it's quite a big After obstacle. Let's get a priest up. Remue, two kings would settle their claim to Normandy. Holy oh, bastard. Right, so we've built that too. Uh, which means we can get a siege workshop and we're going to build that up here. Probably don't need to send them to do it though, I'm not going to lie. So if we get you guys back on wood production, and then we get you guys back on gold. Once they've killed that scout, I'll send them to kill the other scout. Our scout was unfortunately perished. Right, I am going to send these guys to take down that stable, because it's rather annoying. Right, you guys, if you attack move down here, he is counter-attacking and I've just sent away the majority of my forces. Get building on that. Half of you come back quickly. I don't know how many they've just sent. Alright, they got back in time, it's fine. They're now there, they can take that down. Stop those annoying scouts. We're going to sacrifice that mill. That's a lot of horsemen. I sent the back rear half. Engage. Use your ability. Let's get some springled and a mangonel. Let's get a tower up as well. We should have enough men to hold them back. Right, cool. We've destroyed that. Let's go kill that scout off. You do the same. Our priest may die. Let's get another one, just in case he does. Right, there we go, lovely. Defeated the counter-attack. And we've got a tower up, which we can now put a springled emplacement on. Could build a castle. We could build a castle. Ooh. New plan. We could build a castle up here and lure his entire forces into it. Although I don't know if there's going to be a trigger point, whereas if I get, like, move my units here, 
they're all of a sudden going to attack. I don't know. And, uh, it's a bit of a risk if I'm unprepared. We could build it. We could build it around here and we could still lure them in, I reckon. So let's give it a try. Go kill that guy. Manganel, let's get that set up just in case they do start attacking. Springald. Again, get it set up. Priest getting the army. Where are the rest of our forces? They're here and they're done, so let's get them back to the army. Same for the king. Another mangonel. Let's get some more knights if we can. Three. Happy with that. Um, oh, yeah. That's it. We can now also build the next spearman upgrade once we've got enough money. So we can sell some wood. Yeah, we can sell loads and loads of wood. We're producing it like crazy. If we get both of those upgrades and the upgrade for our archers, that should give our men a pretty good chance. Not enough resources. But nearly got enough. Um, so we have actually managed to build that castle, which should be it should mean an easy victory. Although that is quite a decent chunk of cavalry, but it will do a good amount of damage against them. So, like I said, if we can just lure them into it, if we get these upgrades, then get these guys to start working on a gold mine, preferably down there. We don't really need them up here anymore. Uh, two more Springles. And do we have a barracks? No, we don't have a barracks, but we do have one down here. It isn't doing anything. So let's get as many hardened spearmen as we can, bring them up to the main army. It's a full stack of units. We'll get them up here. So that's the range. Yeah, we don't need to draw them in that much. Right, you're going to have to kill them. Army's still being healed up. We can bring them towards the fortress to give them a better chance. Set them up there. And then we're producing knights too. Let's get a few more of them on the go. One more. Better than nothing. Let's get you guys down there. Producing some more spearmen. So now it is literally just a waiting game waiting for these troops to be done. And we've got the upgrade so they're even stronger now too. That's all. Not enough resources. We could get incendiary arrows. But that's against buildings. So that doesn't really help us. So what I'm hoping is as soon as we uncover this little bit of shroud, they're all going to attack. Come into range of the castle. We've got our mangonels and springolds as well. Which we should probably set up. Mangonel. Yeah, switch to incendiary. God yeah. Let's get the Springles set up too. How birdie is. Oh, those are my men at arms. Men at arms go behind. Archers. Okay, I think they are getting ready to attack. We've got a small force of cavalry which we can put on the flanks. And then keep the king in the rear to use his ability. And we are getting reinforcements as well. How many have we lost? We've lost five men that I need to grab. So we'll just wait for them and then get the rest to come up here. And then we'll engage them in a few seconds. I just want to have a few extra reinforcements lined up and ready to go. We've got a stable up there. If we just get the mangonel to engage, that should take it down pretty quick. That should stop the end of their um, scouts. One, two, three, four, five. Right, you three, let's get you over there. Let's get you over there. Let's get you over there. Range is pretty good. Again, like I said, now they've put all their units to the rear, I genuinely don't know if they're going to come this way or not. Go on fire. Okay, Mangonel's doing a lot of damage. 
Right, I think we're pretty much ready. We've got our reinforcements in the way, we've got our reinforcing knights. Oh, you idiots. <laughs> Why? Right, send one man in and see if we can bring him. We can also produce... I wasn't even thinking about that. We can get more men at the actual castle itself. I don't know why I didn't think about that. Pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Oh, he's dead. Okay, unfortunately, I don't think they're going to charge against us. But that doesn't mean we can't lure them. What's our range? Pretty decent range. We just need to get them here. And now they're bringing the whole army. Yep, keep them there, keep them there, keep them there. Go on. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Whole army, engage. Archers hit him in the bloody flanks. King, get in there. Use your ability. Springhorns are doing damage. Archers are lighting them up. But I don't think we're winning. I think we are very much losing. I think they have too many knights. Oh, I think they have way too many knights. Although we have nearly killed the king. We do have a castle, so even if they do defeat our units, we are still going to win this. Let's just quickly get Palisades up in case that cavalry does decide to um, turn up against us. But uh, we have very much lost the fight, damn it. I know they had a lot of units, so I did think we were a little bit more prepared than that. Archers are still holding strong, though. Can't attack King Louis. I want to hold that position where my archers are, because the cavalry should die on these um, spikes here. And we're lighting them up pretty nicely. Well, that was unfortunate. Definitely should have um, created more men, but I think we've won it anyway. It wasn't the best victory, but it was still a victory. I definitely didn't have that many men left, let's be honest. King Henry had secured his ancestral lands under the English crown. Pretty sure he was also dead. Well, we got a victory. I think that's all that really matters, is it still counts as a victory. I'm happy with that. Um, I know it seems a little bit stupid. I did say at the last episode that I was going to up the difficulty. So I think that is what we're going to do. And put it on hard. Um, even though <laughs> that was a very close battle. In fact it wasn't close. I had lost it. And if I didn't have the castle. Probably would have had to build a second army. Um, so I definitely should have been a little bit more patient. And just had prepared a slightly larger force. But it doesn't matter. So we're going to jump straight into the next episode. After England defeated the French at the Battle of Renewal. Normandy was back in King Henry's hands. But one year later, his good fortune turned to tragedy. In 1120, his son and heir, William Adeline, died in a shipwreck. The future of Henry I's kingdom was in jeopardy. Henry desperately needed a new heir. With no legitimate sons left alive, he broke with tradition and chose his daughter, Matilda. Henry forced his barons to swear an oath to accept Matilda as queen. But when the king died, they broke their promise. England would not be ruled by a woman. Matilda's cousin Stephen saw his chance and claimed the throne. The crisis moved to the capital. At Westminster Abbey, Stephen was crowned king. 
but Matilda wanted what was hers. She was also lining up powerful supporters who would fight Stephen for her right to rule. Their conflict engulfed England in civil war. Fighting raged throughout the land. In 1141, everything focused on one of the kingdom's most strategic cities, Lincoln. Matilda's allies had commandeered the castle. But King Stephen was determined to take it back. He besieged the castle. Stalemate. As dawn broke on February the 2nd, everything was about to change. Matilda's half-brother, Robert of Gloucester, raced to break the siege. As Robert's forces approached Lincoln, Stephen's army turned away from the castle to face them. Robert could win Matilda the crown, but only if his army could win the day. Robert of Gloucester's forces approached Lincoln. Their task, to liberate the castle from King Stephen's siege. While behind Lincoln's walls, troops loyal to Matilda held the castle for the Empress. First, Robert's forces would stage an ambush, ambush site to prevent enemy reinforcements from joining the ambush King's army. Ambush site, okay, there's loads of ambush sites. Um, what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm going to end the episode here, and then we're going to continue this mission on in the next one. Because I've just realised how long this has been going on for. Looks like we've got quite a well-fortified position as well. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please let me know. Leave a comment down below. And uh, go ahead and join the Discord as well. Make sure to subscribe and support the channel. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good one. Goodbye.